An Orange County man has earned the title of Iron Man. Here's with uh, some details about that is uh, Orange County Register columnist for OC Outdoors, David Whiting. David, how are you? Excellent. Good. Hey, before we hear a little bit about this gentleman I referred to, let's talk about the Ironman triathlon because that truly is a, a special uh, event as far as triathlons go. It is, and this is a particularly special one amongst Ironman. A lot of people think that Hawaii Ironman is the only Ironman, and in fact, there's about a couple of dozen worldwide, and people participate in those, and if you end up on the podium, you end up with a Kona slot, and that's where it is in Hawaii. That's where it all began nearly 30 years ago with Ironman, and those are now the world championships. And this fellow, Larry Davidson, 51 years old of Dana Point, earned himself a spot after just three years of competing in Ironman, which is a phenomenal, phenomenal achievement on his part. He ended up, got to, uh, got to Hawaii just this past Sunday and competed in the international event. Dave, we have a clip that we want to show our viewers, so sit tight for just a moment. We'll play a couple seconds of this clip, and then we'll get back to you. Larry Davidson on his way from Dana Point, California, 51 years old, followed by June McLean from Navarre, Florida, 45. All right, uh, David, uh, Mr. Uh, let me get his name. Uh, Mr. Davidson, 51 years old from Dana Point. How did he qualify for this event? And there he is with his wife, uh, Kim great? Marie, and his two sons also joined in there, Eric and Tony. This is, uh, he's obviously one exuberant guy. Yeah. He qualified by training, training, and training. He also was pretty smart about this. I love this, uh, this video here. He's just, uh, he's just a fabulously happy fellow, although I'll say he gave it his all because he ended up in the medical tent right after this video with just a quick IV, nothing real serious, but uh, he obviously really did his best there where he's hugging his son. He uh, started out as a marathoner, and just three years ago, he was a volunteer at Ironman in Hawaii, loved the joy, the exuberance, and the pain, and decided, I've got to be a member of that tribe. And so he started out in Ironman, Florida, posting a 10 44, 45 minute run, which uh, race, which is an unbelievable time. That's a full 2.4 miles open water swim, 112 mile bike ride, and a 26.2 mile run, which is a full marathon all at once. He went on to uh, achieve it in 2006 with Ironman Wisconsin, where he qualified for Kona, and then he managed to pull this off on Sunday, placing 45th in his age group in the world. And while 45, 45th may sound like it's a little bit down there, keep in mind, we're talking about this worldwide kind sure. of competition, and this is not an easy event, I will tell you. Uh I've actually been there while they were doing it, and my husband and I driving around the island. We they kept out they kept outrunning us. I mean, we, <laughs> we'd end up behind the pack. But the thing I thought was so fantastic about your story is that even though he had pain, he got that uh, island spirit going and kind of pushed through there at the end. He really did have the aloha spirit. He was battling hamstrings. You are absolutely right. They were almost like literally feeling like they were tugging him down during his run, and that's really his best event. Nevertheless, he posted a, a run just a little bit over four hours, and that's a pretty darn good run with or without any Iron Man behind you. Man, David, I'm tired and sore just hearing about his exploits. But uh, anyway, thanks, thanks again for your time, and look forward to visiting with you next week. Thank you. Take care.